Hey guys, I'm very excited to show you my recent addition to my puzzle collection. It's nothing fancy, just a regular Hanayama puzzle, but a brand new Hanayama puzzle. It's a Hanayama Valve. It was released just recently in Japan and will be released in the rest of the world in a couple of months, but I already have a, a copy of this puzzle. I love Hanayama puzzles, probably because uh, one of my first uh, puzzles was Hanayama Padlock and since then Hanayamas are one of my favorite. First of all, they're very affordable and uh, second, they have a huge range of puzzles from quite easy ones to uh, extremely difficult like Vortex or Hanayama Hourglass. This puzzle was designed by Vesa Timonin. He designed a lot of other amazing Hanayama puzzles such as UFO, Cylinder, uh, Slider and many others. The difficulty level of the Valve puzzle is 4 out of 6 on a Hanayama's difficulty scale that runs from 1 to 6 and the objective of the puzzle is to take it apart and then reassemble it again. If you're a fan of Hanayama puzzles as myself and you want to buy it, link is going to be in a video description and if you want to see my attempt to solve this puzzle, keep watching the video. So let's try to figure out the way how to solve the Valve puzzle. It has 4 parts, 3 parts in the middle and the fourth part is this outer piece that looks like kind of a valve. So I have to remove all the parts from inside and then put them back. Let's see what I can do. I can rotate the middle parts. I can even rotate the yellow inner piece. Oh, and that's quite handy. I can stick my finger inside and just rotate. Oh, it's a nice fidget toy. It's not only a puzzle that you can solve, but also it's a nice fidget toy that you can play. And it's it, it has a nice uh, pocket size, so you can carry it with you all the time. Okay, how to remove the parts? I like this move. Maybe it will help me to solve the puzzle. Oh, okay. I found something interesting. I can rotate the inner parts, but right at this point, the piece that, that has Hanayama sign on it uh, fell down a little bit, just like a half of the millimeter. That means that something is happening. Maybe I found something where I can keep looking for the next step. Oh, okay. After rotating the middle piece, the Hanayama piece dropped down. Now I can see that it has a cutout here and there are some sticking out parts. Okay. That, that seems like there is some kind of a maze inside and I have to navigate the pieces through the maze. Maybe even at some point I have to put the Hanayama piece back inside again. Okay, let's see. Now I lifted up the inner piece and the Hanayama went back. Oh, as I said, okay. What's next? Oh, next, the second piece went down. Okay. And now maybe I can rotate the inner piece again. And the valve piece went down a little bit more. Probably I'm very close to solving it. No, it can't be so quick. But I guess that I'm doing it just by pure luck now, since I have no idea what is happening inside and I have to take the puzzle a part to understand what is happening there. So, okay, now two parts are out. I can rotate the inner piece. It feels like, oh, yeah, I think that at this point I can even remove one of the pieces, no? Almost, almost I can remove this part, but something is still holding it. I like how the valve piece goes up, but I think that at the same time the Hanayama piece is supposed to go down. Or maybe this way. Oh, okay. I have no idea where it's supposed to go. Now the valve piece is... Oh, finally! Done! <laughs> Don't know how that happens. We have three parts inside of this ring. We have two parts outside of the inner piece. And both of these, they have some kind of a things as well. Okay, that means that I have to assemble it now. How to do that? So these two are supposed to be like this. 
That's because Hanayama was on one side, the valve was on the other side. How to put this part now? If it will be like this, let's see if it is possible. It is not possible to do it this way. So maybe it is possible if I put the part like this and stick this part in here. Yeah, that looks like it is a correct way. But now I have to figure out how to put them inside. That will be quite a challenge. I can't obviously stick them like this. The valve piece was the first that I was able to remove. So I'll try to put this one here. Next, maybe I'll put this piece inside. Don't remember how it was inside. So, okay, let's think that this piece goes here and the valve... Oh, okay. The valve can be right here. And now I have to find how to put everything in. Now I have to rotate all the parts in such a way that I will be able to lock them inside first and then to put them in the position where I started solving the puzzle. Oh, something just happened. And I think something good just happened since the Hanayama piece went inside. Now I have just to figure out how to deal with all this stuff. Uh, maybe I'm wrong, since now I don't know how to put this yellow piece inside all the way. Okay, since I've, I was able to remove the valve piece when I tilted it a little bit, that means that maybe I have to put it inside similar way. So I have kind of a tilted so that I can stick it below these parts of the inner piece. Let's see if it is possible to do like that. Something like this. And then inside. No, 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 that doesn't work. I have to push a lot and maybe even break the puzzle. Not the correct idea. Okay, maybe it is still possible if I rotate this yellow piece inside. And now I can put the valve piece around the inner part. Yeah, something like this. Oh, that looks good. That looks really good. Now I have to figure out how to rotate all the parts and lock them inside. Oh, that works. The honey ever piece is supposed to go down at some point. Okay, now I can probably hide it here and move the valve piece so that I can put it one step down. Oh, somehow I was able to move the valve piece down. Now this goes here. Oh, and I think that the puzzle is almost solved. Yeah. Whew, okay, <laughs> it is solved both ways, but I still have to solve it a couple more times to understand what is happening inside of this beautiful puzzle. It took me about 25 minutes to take the puzzle apart and then assemble it again, so the difficulty level 4 out of 6 is well deserved. And I really like the design of the puzzle, it looks amazing. Uh, and the solution is not too difficult, so it will be quite a nice puzzle even for beginners. But the best part about the puzzle is that it's an amazing fidget toy. You can play with it all the time. I have this puzzle for a week now and uh, I've been playing with it like every day. So if you're a fan of Hanayama puzzles, you have to check this puzzle out. It will be a great addition to your Hanayama puzzle collection. Link to Valve Puzzle in the video description. Like, subscribe and see you in my next video.